Shannon, do you still believe Kyrie eventually is a Laker this upcoming season? I do, because I don't believe anybody in Brooklyn wants Kyrie back. Um, Kyrie doesn't want to be back. Um, basically, I, what you have been hearing is that the Nets are trying to figure out the KD trade first, and then they'll work what's going to happen with, with, with Kyrie. I think right now, Skip, they're haggling over, okay, first-round pick, are you going to give it a 20 cent, 2027, 2029? Do we have to give up both? Are we getting Seth Curry in return? Are we getting Joe Harris in return? So right now, we're trying to look, bro, ain't nobody really in the market for Kyrie. Because of his unpredictability, because of his mercurialism, because of his moodiness, there are very few teams that want to touch Kyrie. Yep. Because he's another guy that, see, he, was, he wasn't happy in, in, in Cleveland. He got to Boston. He was very unhappy. Granted, his contract was up, but he wasn't happy in Boston. And now in Brooklyn, and he's not happy in Brooklyn. So in the tune of about five years, Skip, six years, he's been unhappy in a lot of different stops. So it's not like, man, man, we got to have Kyrie because you know Kyrie is a life change. No, he's not. Kyrie's had the greatest success with LeBron James. And I think that's what LeBron is banking on. But, I, hey, I understand Kai. I've been around Kai enough. I know when he's feeling some, some, a, a certain type of way, and I can communicate with him. And I can get the team, hey, Kai, when one of the moves, hey, let him be. Just mm -hmm. let him be. But, yeah, Skip, I, I, I think this is a, a – it makes sense for both teams. Um, LeBron is one with Kyrie. Kyrie is one with LeBron. The situation with Russ, they're not winning. LeBron can be as healthy as he's ever been, can play all 82. They're not winning a championship with Russ on the team. So why would you say that it makes sense for both teams after what you saw or didn't see from Russell Westbrook last because year? Because you get rid of your problem and you, maybe you take this other problem. And because you don't have another star on the team, you can let Russ can really be Russ. So now he has the ball in his hands. He can jack up 25 shots a night. He can be as inefficient as he wants to, and nobody cares. It's the Brooklyn Nets, and the Brooklyn Nets have been terrible for a long time before they got KD and Kyrie. So they go back to their originally scheduled programming, being awful. So and that's Russ. He fit right in. So you're saying Russell Westbrook, as a net, would allow Nets fans to be distracted from the wreck that KD and Kyrie left yeah. in Brooklyn. Yeah, Russ gonna give some triple double. They go like, we lost, but he got a triple double. I guarantee you, if he was in Brooklyn uh, uh, with that roster, he'd probably have 25, 30 triple doubles. Shannon, the more I think about this, <laughs> the less I believe that the Brooklyn Nets would ever, in any way, shape, or form, want Russell Westbrook on their roster for $47 million. And I also point out, because I read this this morning, Westbrook is scheduled to earn nearly $11 million more next year than Kyrie is, which would cost Brooklyn an additional $50 million one time in luxury tax penalties. Okay, so... Well, that's why you have to get up a Seth, Seth Curry or Joe Harris, because you have to make, the, you have to make the, 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 the numbers match. Okay, so you want the Nets to dedicate next year to putting the Lakers back in business, Right. That, that's exactly what you're asking. You're Dude. saying, please return us to the living by just giving us Kyrie and taking on Russell Well, Westbrook. Kyrie going to put you guys out of business. Kyrie might there. You know Kyrie going to need his CTO, this choice time off. Okay. And plus, he gets PTO, pay but, time but, off. But you know, and I know, the only hope you have of making any kind of run next year is if Kyrie yes. reunites with LeBron. Yes. Because he has made it fairly clear in interview after interview that his biggest regret as an NBA player in his career yeah. was how he and LeBron fell apart. It was his doing to right. fall apart, how right. he left LeBron. Yeah. And he tried it going solo in Boston. Obviously, that was a disaster. And now he's tried it again in Brooklyn, and it slowly but surely turned into a disaster. Right. So he's saying, wait a second, I had no idea that the grass wasn't greener. The grass was really green under my feet with me and LeBron. Right. We were actually perfect dynamic duo and I did he's he's admitting I wasn't mature enough to realize right that. so I love that backstory I love the narrative of Kyrie comes to LA to mend fences with LeBron and to show the world that that they were that they belong together
I love that. And it would be great for the Lakers. It would be great for the league. It would be great for the show. It would be great for you and great for me. I, I love that. I would love talking yeah. about that and watching it. Yeah. They become must-see TV. I just can't do the reality of, of how Brooklyn craters for the Lakers to thrive. I, I, I don't I don't well, see well, it. Well, Skipper, you ship him anywhere. I mean, I, you, you, don't, you don't have to send Kyrie, but you're giving up Kyrie and you get KD. They're not going to be on the team next year. So how do you how do you remain a, a playoff contending team without two of the top players in the NBA on that team? Okay. So by all accounts, the priority for Brooklyn is right now KD first, and then figure right. out Kyrie. So KD first, and if I'm right that that they're going to placate, pat them on the head for a while here, because there's time. There, there's <laughs> yeah, yeah, time yeah, 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 There's yeah. no urgency to this. Placate, pat on head until they finally say, look, Kevin, we love you here. We, we can't get – we're, we're getting 10 cents on the dollar for you and trade <laughs> offers, so why would we do that? You committed to us. We've been good to you. We've done all we can do for you. Now you need to give back to us at least a couple of the four years you resigned with us for. Okay. And – Let's see if we can win it all because we were the preseason favorite going into last year. Right. And if Kevin stays and somehow he can mend fences with Kyrie and stay next year and they get Ben Simmons right and healthy, I will bet you once again they will be – I'll give them a slight edge to be the preseason favorite to win it all. Can I use your term? It's pie in the sky. That's wishful thinking, Skip. I know that's what you want. You want to see KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons. You want to see them give this thing a go at least for a year. I don't see how it happens. Mm. I, I really don't. Okay, well, I then, on the flip side, I, I can't even fathom how it happens for Brooklyn to say, yes, we want Kyrie, I'm sorry, we want Westbrook, and we will take on 50,000, uh, 50 million more. Is that right? 47. That's what are in. Fifty million. Well, yeah, with the luxury tax. tax. But Skip, yeah. it won't be that if you take Russ, if you take on Russ, and you ship out Kyrie, Seth Curry, or uh, Kyrie, and 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 uh, uh, Joe Harris, because the salaries have to match. One guy makes thirty-six million, the other guy makes forty-seven million. So you can make it match up, and then you throw in the pick. Is it going to be the pick, in, the first-round pick in 2027, 2029? They're probably trying to extrapolate both of those picks. Well, I bet you won't. It. Well, you won't, Kyrie. You won't. You want us to take Russ up off your hand. That is, you know, that's a $47 million albatross. We're going to get it up off you. Okay. So I mentioned this earlier. I'm going to say it again. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating when I tell you I know Scottie Pippen Jr.'s game because he played at my school, Vanderbilt. I've been watching him carefully in these summer league games. He can flat out play basketball. He just has a knack for it, some from his dad. He, he, he just has a feel for scoring the basketball, getting to the rim, getting to the free throw line. He, he's a very good passer. I'm not saying he's a great passer, but my point is, if right here, right now, you could insert him in the rotation or the starting lineup. The start in of place, the, uh, the rookie? In place of Russ. I promise you he'd be better than Russ. Russ was an unmitigated disaster last year. Yeah, but I've never seen anything like it before. Skip, but when was the last time you saw a rookie? contribute on a championship winning team. You got to go way back. You got to start looking at James Worthy. But James Worthy was the number one overall pick. It would be a or Magic game. Johnson. I'm not saying it would be championship. I'm just telling We're trying you to give a championship on, on pure value. Right now, if I'm doing just in a vacuum. This, this is not going to be what, what's going to happen. Because right. it, it, what I think is going to happen is they're going to be stuck with Russ and they're going to play Russ. You're not going to be. But I will bet you Scotty is on the team and, and he's plays his way into the rotation. And if, in fact, Russ is a Laker all season next year, I will bet you. Remember, mark this down right here, right now. Scottie Pippen will start to take minutes away from Russ because it's sort of what happened with Austin Reeves last year. Slowly but surely, Vogel's saying, well, this kid can play. And then what happened? Okay. Somebody started pouting, and then yeah. they get, it, we all went right, back. You know. right. But, but th this is the kind of thing where Austin Reeves can't do exactly – point guard kind of things. Right. He's more of a wing player. Yeah, he can defend. He's going to do all the little things. He's yeah. going you know, to steal the ball. He's going to take charges. He'll knock down a few big shots. Uh, he's not as turnover prone as Russ. Skip, let me tell you this. If AD, if AD comes in this year and he gives the Lakers what he gave them the first year in L.A., and LeBron is close to what he's been in the previous, you know, what, three, four years in L.A., mm -hmm. they can make the playoffs. I just don't I just don't believe they can win a title with Russ.
Okay, and by the way, Darvin Ham in his remarks last night made it very clear. All of this, uh, what, whatever they are next year, hinges upon Anthony Davis. That's what he said. He's LeBron's going to be LeBron. We'll figure out Russ. But in the end, it hinges upon Anthony Davis. And by the way, quick point of order, it was a little surprising to me that AD didn't show up with LeBron on Friday night because that I don't usually want to do. I hope he's in the gym. Well, that's what I said. Maybe he's getting up at 430 like his shooting coach posted the other day so he couldn't be out that late. Yeah, I'm right? glad. I'm glad. But consider he don't need to be out. He hadn't touched the basketball in two months. Mm. So he need to make up for the lost time. So I, I need AD. I need AD. Like I said, AD should be pissed. Man, you mean to tell me, y'all see what I did? Did y'all see what I did to Jokic in the bubble? And since then, that man has won two MVPs and I've been hurt. Man, five years ago, not one GM would have taken Giannis over AD. Over AD. That man has won two MVPs, a title, and a finals MVP. AD, if you want it, bro, you got to, you got to work. You got to work. There's, only, there's no way around it. You can't have success without work. Only in the dictionary is success before work. I need you to get that time in the gym. I need you to get, hey, you need to be right. Right. Because look at LeBron. LeBron posted LeBron's in the gym working like, hey, it's year five for him. And he's trying to make the team. You sure he's doing all that much work? He's doing all that work. Posted. You see how he look? Mm-hmm. And at, 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 at the uh, summer league, what he doing? Where everybody is eating nachos, popcorn, the hot dogs, he got him a little bag of nuts. Mm. Little arms, a few cashews. There's no photoshopping going on? There ain't no photoshopping. Mm. That's, that's the price you got to pay, mm-hmm. Skip. Okay. When I, was, when I was in the league, Skip, if I went any day three days or less, I packed my food. Three days or less, Shannon Sharp packed every meal. That's the dedication you got to have. I if agree. you real about it, I if you agree. serious, people talk about, oh, yeah, y'all, who you do? No, you're not. Because when you go, man, okay, I'll be all right. And you go eat up everything on the vacation. Three days or less, if you go three days or less and you serious about this, pack your food with you. Okay. So, you think AD's serious enough to do what I saw him do in flashes last year? Because when he went to Embiid in Philadelphia, yeah. he, he just destroyed it. That's what makes you so upset with AD. I you agree. see what he can do. Mm-hmm. And then you watch the other times, you watch Carl Anthony Towns do a number on him, you say, AD, for real? Mm. You let that man do you like that? Okay, so what's the ceiling? If you are forced by Jeannie Buss to stick with Russ for the whole season next year, so it's your big three remains LeBron, AD, and unfortunately Russ. What's the ceiling? What's the record on that team? They probably win. If if I, they all can I stay give, reasonably healthy, I give them somewhere between fifty-two and fifty-four wins. Okay, fourth seed, something like that. Yeah, third or fourth. Third or fourth seed, and then one and done. No, they, they'll, they'll win the first round. You think it's so? All, yeah, it's all about it's all about matchups. Okay. Well, two years ago, they lost to Phoenix. In the we got hurt. LeBron was limping into the playoffs, and AD got hurt. But you saw what we did to him. We had him down 2-1. Okay, so your prediction would be two and done, right? Get to the yeah. second round? We get we catch the ma- right matchup. We might always make it to the rest of the conference final. Mm-hmm. Now, if LeBron, on that LeBron thing, mm. he, hey, you know he what he capable of. He capable of anything. I don't put nothing past him. Huh. I don't put nothing past him. Well, wouldn't that be the ultimate achievement to flame out with Russ in year one and then win a championship <laughs> with Russ in year two? <sighs> At least you got a challenge. Well, hey, well, Skip Bayless, you already told me if he wins the championship with Russ, you got to declare him the GOAT. Well, I wouldn't declare him the GOAT. I'd at least entertain the notion. <laughs> I, it would actually be a realistic, authentic debate. Then it's realistic now it, in one man's mind. No, across a lot of people. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.